When I was setting up this particular uh, event and doing all the advertising and the website and all the content and all that sort of stuff, I kept making one typo. We kept calling it business in blockchain over and over again and I'd have to correct myself and it was in every, everywhere I'd go I'd have that typo and then it, and I was wondering why but then it dawned on me that this isn't too far from from what many of us are actually trying to achieve. Certainly and the logical conclusion of blockchain technology is that it will end up with business being on blockchain. In the same way that businesses operate on the internet today. In the future, businesses will operate on the blockchain. That will, and, and that is not some kind of misfounded kind of belief system that, that the developers have. It's the logical conclusion based on, based on a number of things. That is, blockchains have 100% uptime in general. I mean, sure, systems go down, but it's as far as you could go to having practically 100% uptime. If you think about it, Bitcoin, which was the first blockchain in existence, it is always up and running. You can transact on it at any time. And so the future of business would like to be 100% up all the time. Needless to say, data integrity and security, particularly with the hacks that have happened in recent times, Blockchain provides the A-grade security that you could, you could possibly imagine. And we're going to talk a little bit about that and why that is the case. And of course, one of the leading advantages of blockchain technology is that it is publicly transparent. Transparency is a key strength of blockchain technology. Blockchains, such as Bitcoin, um, are public. These are public blockchains, and that's where the strength is derived from. The fact that anyone can have a look at the ledger, anyone can audit the ledger, anyone. Bitcoin is actually more transparent than your local bank. Hard to believe, I know, because in the early days, people thought it was anonymous. It's not. It's not. People have been found um, doing shady dealings on it, and every single transaction on such a ledger is traceable to the original genesis of that token, meaning transaction is tied to transaction to transaction to transaction in a, in a, in a sequential link all the way back to the genesis. Now, all these things are great, but the reason we're having this conference is because we have a fundamental issue. And that's our issue that blockchain for, for business has become a buzzword. And um, very, very few um, actually understand the technology. And I believe that, um, let's say, as developers and as the um, technical people involved in the space, we haven't done right by business. Of course, the the markets um, that are involved in, um, you know, all most of the, let's say, the cryptocurrencies that you hear of are, are built on blockchain technology. Um, they have they have these issues going, and um, and it paints a bad picture. And people want to move away from that, or aren't necessarily um, too interested in that. So we want to change this. And we start with a very, very simple question, what is blockchain technology? In this particular conference, we were hoping to invite businesses from everywhere because we want to reintroduce blockchain and say what it is and what it can do for your business. Fundamentally, fundamentally, blockchain is a database. It's a database that is a timestamp ledger. Anyone in the world can read data from it. Anyone can write data to it, but nobody can change anything that has been written to it. Now, that automatically provides so, ma so many use cases for so many different people. And provided, given, given that we have 
the ability to immutably record data, if you think about it, some people might say, well, what if you record something that is incorrect? That's great. You have a perfect audit record of a mistake that is made. That is not a bad thing. It's great that mistakes are captured on the blockchain. You want that. If you've worked in project management or you've used document management systems before, this is how many of them today operate. Many of them don't let you delete data from them. They allow you to record data and supersede documents and maybe invalidate something that's been done. But they don't, many of them don't let you actually delete something. And that is for compliance reasons and for a variety of other reasons. But when you have that protection at the database level, it presents so much opportunity. And the opportunities are quite endless. But the list, <clears throat> the list finance, supply chain, healthcare, e-voting, and we'll cover some of these in some of these. Uh, we've got some really, really good speakers from amazing companies that are going to be talking about some of these things. But the last point there, a new internet. If businesses can get all of these advantages by utilising an online database that is publicly verifiable, well, Imagine the new internet utilising this. Imagine unhackable websites. Imagine immutable applications that don't break anywhere near as often. You don't get broken links. You don't get a whole host of issues that we, we get today. Um, Brendan Lee from ELAS will expand a little bit on that. But... Um, You know, blockchain has been rife with people promising the world and I think businesses are not seeing much. So today is about actually showing what has been built and we've got some really amazing talks that are going to show you what have been built.